What's going on guys? It's uh just wanted to make a second part of the uh other video that I uploaded regarding the uh message that I got from EDD. Uh, unfortunately the the video actually cut off so I wasn't able to actually finish my thought and give you guys uh, an overview of what they told me so basically the email indicated that if I don't come up with a proper documentation to verify my eligibility for um, benefits that not only am I gonna be subject to uh, repay everything if I don't appeal the uh, decision or if I don't uh, apply for some sort of a deferment uh, not only am I gonna have to pay the full amount but on top of that I'm gonna have to pay 30% it's a 30% penalty allegedly uh, alleging that I wasn't truthful when I uh, submitted my claim I wasn't truthful that I actually um, you know qualify for the benefits so for instance if you um, if you receive ten ten thousand dollars in benefits and you have to pay thirty percent of that that's like an additional three thousand dollars on top of the ten thousand just imagine that I mean that is absolutely outrageous that's what I was uh, basically um, titling my other video and uh, apparently they are gonna pursue the uh they're gonna pursue the uh the penalties they're not gonna just send you letters and expect you to pay back and if you don't pay back that'll be the end of it they are going to uh, pursue this to the uh, state uh to the state courts uh, apparently uh, because they have unlimited uh, resources since they are the federal government that allegedly is forcing all of us to show proof of Verification. It's not necessarily Employment Development Department, but it's actually a federal requirement. And so they're executing the federal requirement on behalf of, of the federal government. And uh, they're going to come after us. I mean, that's basically what the email said. So uh, they're not, you know, supposedly they're not playing any games. I know that uh, the volume of people that have... Uh, submitted some sort of documentation it's only 20 percent according to an article that i read but uh it doesn't really matter if it's 20 percent or 80 percent they're gonna take their their sweet time and they're gonna come after you now i do have two options uh to make the payments either pay them in installment monthly installment payments if you don't have the full amount that you're gonna have to pay back or if you do have the full amount, then you can go ahead and pay a lump sum. And I think they'll forgive some percentage of the penalty of the 30% that I mentioned. That's what the email said. I, I really, I'm very, um, I'm very perplexed as to why they would send me an email like that, considering that they haven't even reached that conclusion yet. You know, I still have until March the 9th to submit more documents. So why are they uh, jumping the gun and they already basically making a conclusion that more than likely I'm not going to come up with a proper documentation and therefore I'm going to have to pay everything back so it's just you know it's beyond belief it's very cumbersome and uh, I did submit my 2019 uh, tax forms on Sunday Sunday night I actually did submit the C the C uh, documentation so I'm going to be uh, waiting for that uh, result just to see what they say. Uh, but uh, man, I am so pessimistic right now. Dealing with ADD in the past has given me nothing but headaches. And uh, these guys are very picky, extremely picky. They want everything to the T in order for you to clear the hurdle. And uh, I do appreciate everybody that has commented on my previous videos. And I am very happy for those of you that have already cleared and paved the way for you guys not to pay anything back. So that's very uh, encouraging to hear. Uh, but me personally, I'm still in the middle of this struggle. And uh, as soon as I get a response from EDD, I will send it. Uh, I will make another video uh, with what uh, answer or what email re response uh, they gave me.
but that's basically what I wanted to say in the previous video before it cut off uh, unexpectedly um, is the fact that you have to uh, not only are you gonna have to pay the full amount but you're gonna have to pay 30% penalties on top of that I'm pretty sure some of you know this but others may not and uh, it's just outrageous absolutely outrageous I think we we've, we've been bamboozled I think this is this was uh, orchestrated uh, because they knew that not everybody was gonna be able to pay everything back and not everybody was gonna be able to submit the proper documentation to show eligibility for the for the uh, benefits and so now they're gonna be making they're gonna be making out like bandits I think with all the money that they are gonna recover back plus the 30 percent it's just a scam in my opinion but I'm not surprised coming from the federal government you know how these guys operate but anyway that's basically what I wanted to say uh, like I said I do apologize for the other video uh, that it cut off but uh, just wanted to conclude my thoughts and uh, that's basically it here from Mexico City January 18th 2022 and t thank you very much for watching and commenting and please uh, if you like my content just uh, like and uh, subscribe to the channel please I would really appreciate it I just started a couple of months ago and uh, I would really appreciate all of the support thank you very much